Welcome friends and collectors, you have joined me for yet another brand new Diecast Emporium review. We're going to be taking a look today at the MotorArt Volvo L180H wheel loader in 1 to 50 scale. This is not the first time this model was released. This is actually not even the second time this model was released. This is the third time, with the most notable improvements being the functionality of the loader mechanism itself, as well as the orange safety railing package that Volvo now has on all of its construction and mining equipment. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the package. You can see that the design and the box style for all of the MotorArt Volvo models hasn't really changed for the better part of a decade, uh, if not more than that. You have Volvo over here, you have the model description on the bottom, and then obviously a see-through window box where you can clearly identify the model inside. You have Volvo on this side flap. And then usually there is a cutout picture on the back, and you can actually see that here with these lines indicating that it's suggesting to you that you should cut this out. Don't do that. Don't destroy your boxes. Obviously, boxes are part of the model itself. It's part of the presentation. It adds to the collectability and the value long-term of your model. So don't do that. At least in my opinion, I would not recommend that. That being said, this picture is actually pretty decent. I do like this, showing the machine obviously working in uh, what appears to be some sort of material handling facility uh, and working with some relatively hot material, obviously. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. This is the other side flap for those that want to see every side of the box. This is the bottom, stylized by Volvo Product, uh, product Design, excuse me, Volvo, Volvo.com. There's your item number, which is 300052 in this case. That would be your item number, again, if you want to look this up. Okay, get this thing out of the box. Thankfully, there are no twist ties associated with this model. It comes in two plastic formers. Now, these are taped together, which I've already cut so uh, you will have to cut the tapes on this, but really that's the only headache you need to go through. Thankfully, as I have just said, there are no twist ties. Remove the top foam, or I should say the top plastic cover from your model. Again, be careful what you grab onto. You don't want to mishandle your model and break something before you even get it out of the package. Once you've done that, you're ready to display your model as no assembly is required. All right, we've got the wheel loader out of the packaging. Let's go over the decals and details on the model. As I said, this is a updated tooling of the L180H that has been around for a number of years. But I got to say, upon immediately in inspecting it, this is definitely a noticeable upgrade. All right, I mentioned the orange safety railings. They are metal, thin, and to scale. And the orange color actually contrasts well to the normal... OEM colors of Volvo construction equipment, which are obviously gray and yellow. The wheel hubs themselves do have a good design to them, and they look good. The wheels and tires, tires specifically, are rubber and also look excellent. All of the Volvo decaling throughout the model, high quality. Paint finish is good as well. You can see just how shiny it is. With the only complaint I have is that some of the plastic pieces specifically part of the counterweight, as well as the front section of the loader, and even the top part of the cab. Uh, some of that is a slightly different color yellow than the other metal pieces. But again, you can't really tell unless you're staring right over top of it. So if you use this in a diorama, or you take pictures of it, 9 times out of 10, people aren't going to really notice unless they're right up next to it. Looking on from the front... More details and decals include a Volvo decal on the front of the windshield, a detailed operator station, two forward-facing work lights, a plastic windshield wiper on the front part of the glass of the cab. Here is your loader linkage and, obviously, your aggressive rock bucket. The bucket has eight total teeth on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make that seven. Obviously, I can't count. Seven teeth on the bucket, as well as, if you look at the top, it does have the see-through visibility perforations, which is always an excellent addition to have on any wheel loader model. And that should become the standard for every wheel loader model going forward in this day and age because it adds so much immersion factor to all of your loader models. Moving it over to this side. Pretty much identical to what we've already gone over. It is nice to see the add-on wear plates on the side of the bucket. Might be hard to see on camera because it's all 
metal and gray, but they are there as well as Volvo being embossed on the side portion of the bucket. Already went over the wheels and tires, so let's finish up with the back portion of the loader. Here you go, you've got your famous Volvo logo, logo, logo on the back of the loader. Again, easy for me to say. And I mentioned already that I'm not a particularly big fan of the counterweight because it's plastic and doesn't really look right. Uh, but at least you do have some lights on it. A simulated tow hitch, which is not functional, it's just there for looks. As well as a small yellow warning label. Before we go to functionality, for those that want to see what the loader looks like, if it's flipped over, there you go. Not a whole lot in terms of mechanical detail underneath, but at least they've attempted to model the large axles. But in terms of drive shafts and any connecting pieces, uh, they are absent to say the least. That's details and decals. Let's transition now to functionality. All right, for the first part of the functionality demonstration, obviously this is a rubber tired machine, so it moves around on its rubber tires. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. You can roll it frontwards as well as in reverse, and it steers by articulating. And I'm happy to say that, of course, the angle could be better, but at least for posing anyway, you can achieve a pretty aggressive angle. But cameras don't lie. You can see that the articulation wants to swing back, particularly at this angle, and the wheels tend to clash. So it doesn't really stay very well, and it won't roll very freely if you're trying to move the machine as it's skidding along. All right. How about for your bucket functionality we can go up to here again not ideal but something is better than nothing and perhaps it's a bit shallow even to scale of what the real L180H can achieve how about for curling back this is something that this model has improved on from previous versions there was little to no curl back on previous 180 models from motor art so it's nice to see that this has been fixed all right how about dumping excellent another thing that has been fixed on this version of the l180 based on previous versions of the l180 which had let's say a lackluster dump angle to say the least okay that's the higher end of things let's go down to the lower end of things The cylinders are strong enough to create a very aggressive cut angle. But the only issue that still seems to have gone without being addressed is that is all you can do for a lower end carry angle where the bucket should be able to tilt much farther back than that. Another improvement, at least our rear axle does have some oscillation on the back as every wheel loader should while the front axle is fixed again as it should now this loader does have a little bit more than meets the eye which adds to its collectability and maybe its selling factor it does have an opening engine hatch which does open to reveal some mechanical components inside not the least of which that large green piece which is part of the motor so that's appealing and nice to look at but we're not quite done there you can also tilt the cab to one side to access more maintenance parts so this would be an excellent model to pose next to your favorite 1 to 50 scale service truck getting some work done to it before we end the video let's pose this next to a 1 to 50 scale on highway dump truck that i just so happen to have so here's our 150th scale dump truck we're using for the sake of this video. As you can see, no issues whatsoever getting over the side. Clears that. And it dumps into the side without an issue at all. And again, as I showed you during the demonstration part, you can have no issue dumping any harder materials such as rocks or dirt into the back of it. And for the last display possibility, we're done on the job. We're going back to the yard, but we need some help. This is a piece of heavy equipment, after all. And while this may be a larger style low boy than what you would typically need in most U.S. states for a machine this size, it doesn't hurt to have more than you need, 
It's better to have more than you need than have less than you need and have to deal with fines. So, there you go, collectors. That will wrap up my review of the 150 scale improved underline and circle that. Improved 1 to 50 scale Motor Art Volvo L180H wheel loader. Gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. Motor Art, to their credit, did rectify a number of the complaints that collectors had about previous 180 versions of this model. The only thing that I could have asked to have been significantly better in terms of the overall functionality would be the carry angle, which is still non existent and shallow. But in terms of the dump height, the load height, uh, the, the cut angle, all of that, the dump angle, all of that is excellent. Uh, they did improve the oscillating rear axle, which is great. And the working and, or opening features really do add to this model. And the paint and decal finish is also very, very good. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And if you're not already subscribed to us here on Diecast Emporium, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button right below this video. It greatly helps me out. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.